Uh, my name is Pamela Henderson, and I just had a, a concern, particularly uh, for Lisa and the breed-specific legislation. Sounds like PETA is for that, not not the side where you know they should be spayed or neutered. That's you know, and and cease breeding, definitely for that. But in terms of legally prohibiting certain breeds in certain localities. To me, it seems like that's synonymous with discrimination. Just like we wouldn't say, you know, all African Americans should be in jail, all Hispanics should be sent back to Mexico. I mean, that's, that's pretty much the same effect of doing that. And David already talked about the fact that that's really not effective. Okay. Why does PETA take that position when Thank it seems to be so discriminatory? Lisa? Yeah, no, I don't think that is the position that we take. And, I, and speaking to Denver as well, and correct me if I'm wrong, but in a lot of breed-specific cities um, where there's breed-specific legislation, they grandfather in existing pit bulls. Animals who are in good homes stay in good homes. No one, well, at least we're not, there may be people out there, advocates going in and ripping pit bulls out of good homes. Absolutely not. So that's not part at all of what PETA believes. You have a question there. Yeah, I just wanted to follow Hold on. I think they, uh, everybody else would want to probably hear your question. Hold on just a second. No problem. I just wanted to follow up on that. What Lisa just said is completely untrue. Um, either she doesn't know or she's lying. Because PETA's official stance is that all pit bulls are to be destroyed. Any pit bull that comes into the shelter is to be destroyed. Do you want to know yeah. what PETA's stance is on this? For, oh, from right, someone, from right, someone. San Francisco Gate, 2005, from, from your founder. San Francisco Gate. From your founder. From Let's, someone who's worked at PETA for 20 years. Oh, I will, I'll let everybody know exactly. We're going to let her ta uh, tell her position. That was, go ahead. Okay. Our stance on pit bulls is that there should be a, bre a ban on breeding them everywhere. We don't need, there is not one good reason to breed one more pit bull while we have anywhere from 30 to 70 percent uh, of shelter, I'm sorry, all of shelters have 30 to 70 percent of their dogs right now are pit bulls. That is a current problem. There is no excuse for breeding more. They are the most abused dog in dogdom. We see it in the field every single day, as do cruelty officers all over this country. We want to ban on that breed until we can bring the numbers down, and every pit bull, every pit bull mix, every chihuahua, every border collie, every border collie mix is in a good home, and not just any home. That home has to be good. That means that dog doesn't live on a chain. And if we have to, we want a ban on breeding pit bulls. And we want a ban on breeding all dogs. And what's more is we support breed specific legislation that mandates spaying and neutering. That is PETA's stance uh, hold on. on pit bulls. Please. Um, my comment is, though, is that breed-specific legislation doesn't solve the da dangerous dog issue. What does is enforcing the laws and imposing big fines, um, enforcing leash laws, anti-tethering laws, anti-dog fighting laws, li licensing, spay and neuter. Animals, people who abuse animals, and if you ban a breed, they're still going to be animal abusers. And any, do any person that trains their dog to be aggressive isn't going to stop being a tra to train another breed not to be aggressive. So right. it's definitely the people and not Thank you. the um, dog. Really quick, though, comment to Erica. Sure. Um, you had asked a question about rehabilitating these dogs that come from dog fighting rings. I just want to hand it over to uh, Best Friends and Bad Rap for rehabilitating all the Vic dogs. And one, one last thing, for the lady who is um, saying that it was, you know, and I do agree with her, sometimes it's really hard to find a vet that'll spay and neuter your dog. Karma Rescue will spay and neuter your dog for free. All right, all right. Um, thank you for all your comments, and thanks, you guys, for coming with me. Um, let me ask, do we have time for, oh, we do, we do, one or two, it's 8.20. Um, if you guys don't mind hanging out with us a little more, nah. All right, so let's just do one more um, over here in the center. Thank you so much.